remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? OJ Simpson recently chimed in on a couple of polarizing stories that has captured the attention of the American public and many abroad. Let's start with the impeachment of Donald Trump, your president. OJ said, no matter what you may think of the process, young people got a chance to see how our government works. These are his words. Young people got a chance to see how our government works. He also said that he was proud to know that there are government employees out there keeping an eye on things. <laughs> now, OJ is a little biased here because he and Trump are friends, right? They also have similar cases. I mean, when I think about this Trump impeachment and I think about OJ, both of them were guilty and both got off. Both of them were major uh, celebrity figures and they were able to use a stacked system to get off. Of course, you had Trump with the good old boys and then you had OJ whose defense was able to argue that he was being railroaded by a white supremacist system that was out to get the black man, which he was. And Trump, to a lesser extent, was being railroaded by the Democrats who was just out to get him. And they were out to get him before he even got into office, just as the Republicans were out to get Obama before he got in office. <laughs> you know, it all comes full circle. But moving on, he also spoke on Gail King. His beef with Gail King is that Gail King called him out for visiting his ex-wife's grave site. She said that she thought it was inappropriate because she felt like O.J. was guilty. Just as I said she would, O.J. said Gail is going to claim journalistic integrity. He said that there are plenty of journalists out there who have integrity who would not have touched that. They would not have asked that question. He said there'll be plenty of times in the future for Gail to ask those type of questions. So I do agree with him on that. However, OJ don't get the same consideration to me as a Kobe Bryant or somebody else, simply because OJ has never really been a part of the black community the whole time he was famous. OJ didn't give a damn about black folks until he needed black folks to help him in that trial. I think that he was really judged by a jury of his peers. I think it was nine out of 12 jurors were black. Now that's, that, that was a pretty good numbers. I would love to walk into a courtroom like that if, it's, if, if, if I'm in that situation and I got people who can actually relate to me, who can look at me and see a, a son, a, a, a cousin, a grandchild, a father, a husband. I would love to walk into a courtroom under those circumstances. But the average black person ain't going to never get that type of experience because they don't have the kind of money that OJ has. So OJ was able to stack the debt with his bag. So I'm talking about OJ because OJ is in the news and this is what I do. If it's in the news, I'm going to speak on it. If it's something that I feel like people want to hear, 
I'll speak on it. And no matter what you may think about OJ, uh, his words do have some weight. And if nothing else, the dude is just hilarious. <laughs> no more talk. What the haters talking about? <laughs>